Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to get into Glossier. This brand right here. I've never tried Glossier before, so these are my first purchases. They had a great Black Friday deal, so I indulged myself. Got a few products, including the Future Dew, which a lot of people have been talking about. I got two cloud paints. These guys right here, liquid blushes, and I got Eve and Haze. I got a bomb.com in rose. And I got a boy brow in brown. So we're gonna be trying these today. I'm gonna give you my first impressions. So first I wanna try the Future Dew. So I have been using this for a few days now, and I've noticed it feels like it have like a slight film on my face all day which I don't really like I like the concept of this though I think it feels really interesting it kind of looks like a glowy primer highlighter product but it's really slippery but then it's kind of thick <laughs> which I didn't expect it's a really interesting texture um, but I have been using it on top of my skincare don't mind me, I'm just going to get a little bit red because I'm touching my face. Um, but I don't notice like that much glow from it. Um, I heard some criticism that like this is going to disturb your sunscreen if you put it on top of your, of the, you know, your sunscreen. Which is probably true. Um, but if you're not using this during the day... <laughs> Um, I don't know. I think it, it's interesting. I don't know that I would repurchase it based on the first few tries just because it's, it's a weird product. It's not a primer. It's not really for makeup. You can use it on top of your makeup, but because it's so wet, it's going to disturb it. So I don't really know like truly who this is for unless you wear no makeup, but you want something a little more glowy on your skin. I just think it's kind of a, a weird thick product. It dries down, but I still kind of feel it on my skin. So I don't know. Some people swear by it or they think it's like such an amazing new product. I don't know. I don't know that I get it. Maybe I'm using it the wrong way. Maybe you're supposed to use it a secret way that I don't know about. But I like the, the iridescent bottle. I think that's cool. Um, but let me know your thoughts on Future Do. You, do you guys think it's overhyped? Um, it says apply two pumps all over the face. I think that's a lot of pumps. I think one is plenty. Um, you could add it more to the high points of your face for extra glow. So this is the oil serum hybrid. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna apply a little foundation. Didn't buy any foundation from Glossier. And then I will return. Alright guys, I put on the Dew Drop foundation for the first time. Just filmed a separate video. And I'm really liking it so far. So I don't have anything else on. No concealer. Um, no powder. Because I'm going to try these cloud paints. And I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches for you. And I might mix the two. Um, but we're going to try them out on my face. I did swatch them when I first got them and I was really surprised how they stained my hands. And I think it's the darkest one that really turned my hand blue. Um, so I'm a little afraid. But this is Eve and this is Haze. And I just wanted some different colors. I'm tired of getting the same old boring like pinky, peachy pink. So I wanted to get some different things. Um, this looks really dark. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of Eve because I thought it would be an interesting color for me. It's really easy to over apply with these. These are really pigmented. 
So these tubes are going to last me forever. Oh boy. And people apply this with a brush. Because you got to be precise with those fingers. Okay, that's haze. It's very pink. It's, it's more wine, I guess. Not like as dark as I thought it'd be. It's not, it's not that scary. I'm going to use a little bit of haze, which is this pink color. And we're going to go even deeper. Just a little bit. Oh boy, that's a lot. <laughs> Ooh. This is a lot, guys. This... I feel like this blush would last all day because it's so pigmented. Okay, but really easy to go clown. Alright. Those with those look like... Um... Yeah, I noticed some staining with these, so I would just... I'm sure it's not a big deal if you use makeup remover. Your face isn't going to be like permanently stained, but your hands, your fingers might. So wash your hands. Um, yeah. I think with the Surratt foundation, because it seems to be a very dewy texture, or a pretty dewy texture, I wouldn't use the Future Dew with it again, because I don't want too much dew. Um, I have come from many years of doing that, and I'm getting used to not doing that, and so this is a big jump for me. Um, with like the dewy skin carry product, and then the dewy foundation. Although, I, I don't know, I'm still figuring out the finish of the dew drop, but this blush is fierce. Alright, I'm going to try the, the lip balm. Um, I think... The scent of this is really strong. <laughs> the rose. I think I would have preferred maybe one of the fruitier ones. This is really soft. I'm not sure it's worth it. I mean, it's cute packaging for sure. But there's a lot of products out here, out there like this. It's like a petroleum jelly kind of a deal. Although. I don't know what this is made out of. I really like Glossier's aesthetic. The packaging is killer. Um, it's for the no, you know, the no, yeah, it has petroleum. The no makeup makeup look, I think, is really smart. It's the biggest trend. Well, one of the biggest trends in makeup. There's also people going the opposite spectrum, which I appreciate. Um, this is the packaging the, bomb, the blushes come in. It's like this. And then all of this came in this pouch. And you can opt to not get this pouch if you don't like this packaging. Or you want more minimal packaging. But it's a good reusable bag. Don't throw it out. Um, and then the boy brow comes in is very tiny. Just so you guys know. Tiny product. But also very nice tiny applicator, which I appreciate. Cause I don't have big brows but I do have you know high expectations for this so I got this in brown and it's always hard to pick colors but at least for me because I could go brown or taupe or blonde sometimes those work sometimes they don't all right I think a little goes a long way with this one. It's nice. I like that it's a tiny little brush. I think this makes for a nice, natural, quick brow. So if you just want a little definition, this is good for like fast makeup. I feel like it's not going to harden though. It doesn't feel like... So this is what it looks like on my hand, in case you guys want to know color. My eyebrow shape is not as good as it could be because I haven't really been plucking my eyebrows that much. Um, 
But if you have the shape already perfected, this is just going to enhance what you need to fill in. Yeah, I think it's nice. It's like, It goes on a little bit thick, so you got to be careful not to overdo it. This doesn't dry down that fast. It doesn't seem very like gel-like like most products, so I think that finish is going to be really natural. Just hopefully your hairs don't move around. I think people like these gel formulas because they harden and your eyebrows don't move but if this doesn't really harden you may not like this i'm not really feeling it do that so the the tom ford one that everyone talks about the fiber brow gel that one hardens really well huh interesting i think this is a good option i like how tiny it is all this stuff seems like really travel friendly you could use this probably on your lips just kind of a multifunctional product you could i mean everyone loves a lip balm the only thing that i really don't know about is the future do i don't know how i feel about it <laughs> I think it's innovative, it's exciting, it's an interesting product, so I appreciate the brand in that aspect, like doing something different, I think it's really cool. Um, but I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. Alright, this is my natural, like, no makeup, glossier look. It's very cheeky, a lot of cheek happening, I applied too much. I would probably apply powder on top of this and kind of blur some of this out because it's a lot of cheek. A lot of cheek, guys. Um, let me know if you apply your, I don't know, what is this called? Cloud paint with a brush and if that works better. Or how do you avoid overdoing it like I just, I just did? Let me know. Comment below. Are you guys still using Glossier? Am I like stupid for buying this stuff? I don't know. I think it's definitely an aesthetic. I thought about getting a sweatshirt, but I didn't because I'm like, what if I hate the products? I don't hate them. I think they're cool. I think that they have a look. I like what they're going for. Um, it's a little pricey for what they're going for, but hey. Um, I can't judge them for that. Alright guys, let me know your thoughts below. Click like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.